Okay, so it was a brutal week for Apple as it was down over 3% just on Friday alone with the potential loss of the massive App Store revenue with the ruling that went for them and against them this week. And then there was the whole harassment issue that came up along with the fact that before this week, the stock was trading really rich and making all time highs. We saw what happened to Apple last time when they were at those elevated levels. So we will discuss the impact of all of this on Apple stock, but more importantly, there is an ugly truth about it all that nobody is talking about, but you need to understand it very clearly because it can happen to a lot of stocks, not just Apple, and the impact to your portfolio can be devastating if you don't understand this. And despite Apple being my favorite stock of all time, I have to give you guys the truth without the hype, and that is why you're subscribed to this channel. And hit that like button if you appreciate the fact that I do not put ads in the middle of my videos and then stretch them out for 20 minutes. I respect your time, so you know, let's get to it. So even though Apple technically won the court battle, it may have lost the war. Video game stocks rose on Friday after a federal judge ruled that Apple can no longer first app, no longer force, if I could read, can no longer force app developers to use its payment system, allowing app developers to sidestep the large commissions that the check that the tech giant collects. Wow, that was awful, I'm sorry. So how large are these commissions? Try 30%. I mean, can you imagine paying 30% commission to sell your house or buy a stock? So this ruling is going to be devastating to Apple stock, right? I mean, the margins are almost pure profit and it must mean revenue is going to decline huge. Well, let's take a look at it, guys. If everybody chooses to send the payment off platform and this revenue stream dries up completely, it cost Apple around $6 billion in revenue. That is more than the total revenue of many of the stocks that we love, so this has to be devastating to Apple. Or is it? Well, projected revenue for this year is expected to be $366 billion and then $379 billion for next year. So adjust those numbers by $6 billion to $360 and $373 respectively. So while the news is making headlines and sending the stock tumbling, the impact on revenue is just honestly not that big, even if it goes completely away. And I'm not saying it will go completely away because some will stay on there because it's convenient and Apple could lower the rate to a more attractive percentage to keep some of them using it instead of doing their own. And I'm sure Apple will appeal, which could reverse the decision altogether. But the bottom line with this is don't listen to the noise. The actual numbers tell me the impact is just over 1% of the revenue side of things. That's hardly a reason to be concerned at this point, in my opinion. But, but hold on, that wasn't the only bad news for Apple this week. Apple has been under fire lately after current and former employees shared stories of harassment, retaliation, and sexism in the company. Now the US National Labor Relations Board is looking into cases filed against the tech giant by two of the main voices, accusing the company of permitting a hostile work environment. This again is disturbing because nobody should ever have to work in an environment like that. And this next statement was also in the article just to help us out a little more. It's worth noting that the labor board looks into all the complaints it receives and it only prosecutes a case if it finds merit in them. So for now they are looking into it, which is what they would do with any complaint that is filed and they're not prosecuting anything or at least not yet they're not prosecuting anything. Now I'm not going to cast judgment either way in this case. I personally wasn't there, I don't have all the facts and I refuse to try and guess an outcome. My job here is to give you guys the impact on the stock. Large scale culture issues that allow harassment are a major problem for the stock. Problems within a division or a team are not major problems for the stock unless the company does not swiftly take care of it after all the investigations are complete. But there are two ugly truths about Apple and all publicly traded companies. And these ugly truths can have a massive impact on your portfolio even if you don't own Apple or any other mega cap stock. The first, Every publicly traded company will be involved in litigation, lawsuits, congressional investigations, and a myriad of other legal battles. You cannot have millions or billions of dollars coming in and not have these things come up in your company. And number two, all companies will eventually screw up and with large companies, the noise will be 10 times bigger as well. And this applies to every mega cap business, large business, medium sized business, and many small businesses as well. In a company as large as Apple, there will be some bad people that work there. That's just inevitable. Now it's never right. Let me be clear there. It is never right and I'm not saying it's okay. I'm just saying it will happen at a company that large no matter what your company culture is or how great your HR or your management team is or anything else. But unless there is a systemic problem with harassment across the board for Apple, from a stock perspective, it's just not going to have a large effect. Now, if there is a systemic problem, 
there is a massive problem with the stock. Remember, you will have people that deserve to be fired who will sue the company, and you will have employees who were truly targeted and deserve every penny they receive because they were harassed or fired for no reason or a bad reason. You will also forever have politicians on both sides pandering to their respective bases by making large company CEOs testify before Congress. That has been going on forever, it works to get votes, and it will continue to be that way in the future. All of this is all part of the journey in owning large cap stocks. And if I'm being honest, all publicly traded companies to be sure. What your job is as an investor is to identify if this is a short-term issue or a long-term problem. Short-term issues mean discount shopping. Long-term problems means you need to take a hard look at if you want to own that company or not. So hopefully this gave you some insight on how it works so you can plan for it, and more importantly, because you will encounter this exact scenario with one or more of your stocks eventually. And if you don't have a defined plan for all your stocks, or you don't know how to create a plan or value a stock, we can help you with your planning as there is a course in the Market Insiders Predator Group dedicated to that, along with creating an infinite money loop, and other courses available as well, along with live weekly Q&As where you can ask me virtually anything, a super great Discord group that's just awesome, tons of exclusive videos, downloads, and more, all for the price of a meal for two at McDonald's. Consider it a cheap date that went really well. So check that out. It's the first link in the description and the pinned comment. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.